this might not have nothing to do with what you do, but I did see a, a, a video on Instagram where they're making people taller now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that don't got nothing to do with you, though, right? I mean, you're making people feel yeah. a certain way. Yeah. Not just physically, but emotionally. Like yeah. it's a it's a it's a it's a sensual thing. It's uh it you you know what it's it's there's nothing wrong with saying that it's an intimate experience. Yeah. Right? It intimacy, is, intimate intimacy is not a bad thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and to be honest with you, Dave, it's it's something that a lot of people have to tap into. It takes a certain degree of vulnerability to come in and trust someone to stretch you. You know what I mean? And so, but that's really where the process of release starts. We're here to facilitate your release. You're actually the one releasing when you're breathing. We just synchronize the stretching with the breathing. But also I go into like the business of stretching, yeah. right? Like how do you do a consultation? How do you figure out where someone's tight? How do you do an assessment? Yeah. How do you properly price and, and package it so that it makes sense, right? Um, um, how do you set up? What equipment do you need? Welcome to another edition of the Social Proof Podcast. We are back with an, another amazing entrepreneur. We try to give you ways, man, that you can make some money and it's a story of, of inspiration. Okay, you got a story of inspiration, yes, man? I do, I do. Really? Yeah. We're going to get into it. Okay. okay but first, I got I to gotta talk about this, okay? Because you have the Stretch Loft. The Stretch Loft and the Stretch Loft Academy. Okay, I got you. And what does the Stretch Loft do? So the Stretch Loft is a holistic service that uh, releases stored trauma, tension, and stress from the body via uh, hands-on stretching and guided breathing. So we help Helps you release, release stress. Stored trauma? Yes. All right. So I don't... Okay, how does that work? How does trauma get stored in your body? So there's a multitude of ways trauma gets stored in your body, right? So um, if you've ever been in a car accident, right, and you closer. got, if you've ever been in a car accident, you got hit, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you probably have trauma. If you've ever had surgery, you've got trauma. But overall, uh, all of your emotions, anything that you feel gets stored inside the cells of your body, right? And when it gets stored like that, it starts to restrict you of like your freedom, your ability to move, your ability to think, your ability to, to process things mentally and emotionally, Right. And so through the brought the process of like stretching and guided breathing, we help you to release that. Mm. Yeah. So when stress is released from the body through stretching, mm -hmm. what does that look like? How does it? OK, let me just let me just put it this way. To me, it I don't I don't understand it because it's almost like people clearing their house of energy. You know yeah. what I mean? It's uh -huh. like. Someone's telling me that there's energy here, and when you like burn, sa burn sage or do something, energy's gone, and then your house is better. So when you're saying that there's stress in your body, it's like, okay, it's released now, or people release certain energy. I just, I, I'm having a struggle with that. Have you ever seen chiropractors after they like do an adjustment on somebody and you kind of see them have like this, this reaction? Like, it's almost like an emotional release, right? So it's similar. I have a chiropractor. You have a chiropractor? Yeah. Okay, so do you get adjusted? Yeah. Okay. So when you adjust your neck, what does that feel like? Feels better. Feels better, right? For sure. Okay, so do you ever feel like euphoric? Do you ever feel lighter after seeing your chiropractor? I don't know if I feel lighter. I feel like, like you get adjusted and, like, you crack some things so you feel... You feel like some of the, like there might be some tension in my neck. Yeah. And then when I leave, I don't have the tension in it. It's release, right? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> maybe it's the release <laughs> word I'm dealing with. Because so he, he's explaining to me that there are, there's some tightness there or like, you know, if you like some knots there, right? So yeah. if you adjust it, you like do a little, little joint or you broke that thing and now it feels better. So, so tension can also be looked as like a, as pain, right? Mm hmm. And so um, the best way that I can put it is that like that pain, like, like, like you might call it pain, right? Uh, your chiropractor might call it a misalignment. I call it stored energy. Mm. Yeah. There's something that caused that pain or that misalignment to happen, right? Whether you slept wrong or maybe you were working a computer too long or maybe you were 
interviewing people all day long and you start to kind of get like tension built up like like no, like so, so, so what do you get the tension it's crazy so 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 okay cool so you, exactly exactly so <laughs> I, I did a body roll but. <laughs> so so where do you typically feel tense or pain or tightness in your body my neck and shoulders primarily your neck and shoulders okay good 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 so I, cuz I, I saw that when i came to the workout a few uh, weeks ago did you? yeah so you so your neck tends to kind of pull forward like this. You're it pretty does. tall and you pull forward like this. So all the muscles in the neck and the front of the neck get real tight. The muscles in the front of the chest, those get tight. But also you're putting a lot of strain on the on the trap muscles up here. Yeah. Right? So when you come see me, I would basically stretch out your chest. I'd push your neck back in place, right? I would stretch out all those muscles around those areas and I would help you to release that stored tension and that stored energy. Got it. Yeah. It's crazy as you're talking about it. It's like I got it, it feels tense because like now I'm thinking about it. I'd imagine. I mean, if you want to, Dave, I, we could. You know, I I, I I give you a little demonstration just so you can understand what it what it what it's like. Okay, let, let me let's warm up. Let's get to know each other first. You know what I mean? Let's have sure. buy me a drink, bro. First, you sure, know what I mean? Sure. You start, get some get, get some water. Back. Get some water. <laughs> you got uh, the Evian. Huh? I do. I, I do want to ask this too. So, are you married? No, not married. No gonna be tough bro why because the way you do the like the little the stretch situation and then the thigh be all on your chest and all that and you gotta which i think is a cool strategy it's like it's a sensual thing some people are called some people are calling you to uh to release tension some people are calling you to release some tension my boy okay Yes. Okay. So, I mean, the, the big difference with this is like, unlike massage, you keep all your clothes on and it's done right. in an open environment. Right. Mm -hmm. And so and also, um, you know, when we first start, we let you know why you're there. Mm -hmm. Right. There's nothing that's inappropriate or anything like that. Right. Like if you see someone's leg or thigh up on my shoulder, it's really just positioning. <laughs> right. No, I know. Now, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Now I will say I will say I will say when I first got started, a lot of my friends were like, what, what, "Like, what you doing? That look like soft porn." Oh, for sure. But then they felt it. Then they then they felt it, and they were like, "Oh my gosh! Like, I need more of the stretching." Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How long you been doing it? Nine years. Nine years. Yeah. Do like your clients kind of offer you like you know? Do they throw themselves at you a little bit or? I'm not going to say it hasn't happened, yeah. but not that often. Not I that keep often. It, yeah, I keep it pretty professional. I think, yeah, you, you do keep it pretty professional. Now, so the other guys that be on Instagram where they're doing like the, it's intentional, like with the oil and all that. Do you know any of them? I've met a few of them. You're talking about the guys who do like the massage, they're rubbing on like. Yeah, that joint is wild. Yeah, I mean. That's an ill play though. I mean, you think about it, it's a service, but it, they're just they just put a very. Um, a really cool twist on the service. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a sexualized yeah. service, kind of. The, the thing about it, Dave, is that it's a service that people want and need. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I started, I opened up the stretch off during the pandemic uh, because I saw that people were in need. Yeah. People, you know, during the pandemic, you couldn't touch anybody. Like, you yeah. touch somebody, like, you might lose your life. For sure. And so, um, sitting at home, being stressed out, worrying about different things, had people really tense, but also people who lived by themselves, who just hadn't been touched in months. Yeah. This actually provided an outlet for them to get a safe kind of touch. Mm. Does that make yeah. sense? That's real. You know, yeah. I, I saw the video that there was a lady where she was, she was, uh, she hasn't been hugged or something like that in a long time. Yeah. And she's really battling depression because no one's hugged her in yeah. years. Stored energy. Stored, explain it. So no one's hugged her in years. She's battling, right? She's missing touch. Touch is something that every human needs, right? Like a warm hug, like a good handshake, right? And so the energy that she's storing from not having had those things is having an impact on her. In this case, her mental state, depression. Mm. She would come to me. Right. And I would do what I do, go through my session and stuff like that. And you actually see people actually just start to like, just, just lose it on the table. They'll start crying or they have an really? emotional release. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's all stored in your body. It's all stored in your body. Wow. So you're, you're like stretching people and how long, how long is the process? Your stretch? 
So believe it or not, a session takes about 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. So for 30 minutes, like you're you're stretching them and you've had people just start crying just out of all the time. Wow. All the time. Because it's a stored energy and I guess they feel free after this. They feel free. They feel released. I've also had people who've been struggling with like certain ailments for years. They've been to multiple doctors. They couldn't figure it out. They came and got one session and they, you know, that whatever they're feeling got released in that session. And you will just see them have like, you know, this kind of reaction. Either they're crying or they're like, oh my gosh, like what just happened to me? I, bro, I, I really think this is, um, this is a really cool industry. Do me a favor. Explain the difference between your, like, is it called stretch therapy? Stretch therapy. Okay. Yeah. Explain the difference between stretch therapy and like massage therapy. What's the difference? So, so I'll start off with how they're like. Okay. They're both forms of body work. They're both different arts of body work, right? Mm -hmm. With massage, massage aims to release muscles through pressure, mm -hmm. right? With stretching, we release it via, you know, via elongating the muscle. All muscles do two things. They shorten and they extend. Right. In massage, you're doing just doing a pressure. Yeah, you may be getting it up, but until you go and you, you release it and you lengthen that muscle again. Right. It's not going to be able to function properly with the other parts of the system, like the ligaments and the joints and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I'll give you another example. Uh, athletes. So athletes who work out a lot, they go out, they play and stuff like that. They're banged up. Right. They're not at their full capacity. A lot of your muscles are shortened. Right. Or they may be, you know, dealing with some sort of injury when they come in, and they get stretched. We actually go through their whole body and we lengthen everything. We open everything up. So now you got maximum blood flow. You got maximum uh, oxygen and you actually open them up. As a matter of fact, I used to tell my athletes like this is the difference between getting a full ride and going like D1, D2 or D3 somewhere. Mm. I've had athletes come in and they start off running a four six. Right. And then by a few after a few stretch sessions, they're at a four four. Really? Because I gave them access to their body. Got it. So, okay, in the, in the same way, you're still getting the blood flowing, right? Because the massage, they're just like getting the, getting the blood flowing. But you're saying stretch therapy, you're stretching out the muscles to give more, I guess, um, what's it called? Dexterity? More range of motion, more, more blood of, flow, more it. oxygen production, right? Um um, and yeah, and in some must like sports massage involves some stretching, mm -hmm. but this is just total body stretching. As a matter of fact, most and massage people are not going to like this, but most of my clients hop off the table and say, this was better than a massage. Really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where does this theory come from? Uh, or where does the science come from with stretch therapy? So stretching has always been around, but you only really saw it primarily with athletes before, Right. Um, and after you're using it for injury prevention or, yeah, we stretch uh, or before we yeah, stretch before it or stretch after or stretch during. Um, but it's, it's, to me, it's one of those modalities that like has just kind of been kept a secret because it actually does so much. Yeah. Does that make sense? Got it. Like it help it can help you heal from injury. It can help you heal from depression, anxiety, sleeplessness, right? It can help you deal with grief, Right. Most it people can help you deal with sleeplessness with sleeplessness. I know how you so? think sleep is for suckers, but <laughs> how so though? So, so because problem. it helps you to relax yourself, right? Yeah. Like sometimes when you can't sleep, your, your body might just be overactive. Brain might be overactive. You're not getting maximum full blood flow through the system. When you get stretched, one of the first thing you feel is that you feel super relaxed, yeah. right? It just kind of just takes the weight of the day off of you. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Okay. All right. So I, I, what is the income potential? Tell me like some numbers or so. How much do you charge to stretch somebody? So I charge $250 for a 30 minute session and I charge $400 right. for a one hour session. Yeah. What's a massage? 70 bucks? About a hundred. About a hundred? You get massages? Hi, so how you know? <laughs> <laughs> you get massages, Reese? About a hundred. I always look for the um, the Groupon. They look like they need stretches. How do, so? How do you know? How how can you look at somebody and tell yo you need a stretch, bro? Well, so Reese, right? So Reese sits in front of a computer all day long, right? You can kind of see that his head starting to move forward. He got it. He got one of them. Next, I got. 
Awesome. Well, not well, not not not. Your yours is a bit more than a more than his than is, sure. right? But also, he's sitting on a, he 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 probably sits for long periods of time doing editing and stuff like that. If you look how he's sitting, a lot of us don't actually sit on our butt; we sit on our lower back. So his hip flexors are getting short, his chest muscles are getting short, his neck muscles are getting short. Right over time, in about twenty years, Reese might end up kind of here, a little ball, like a ball, go ball up, bro. You so a good people stretch. sit on their back. What about that? Well, meaning that like you don't sit on your butt. You're kind of sitting like come, people kind of sit on like our between our low back and the top of our That's glute. That's a fact. Yeah, we're actually supposed to be sitting nice and tall with a straight back. And these chairs are terrible, aren't they? They're not the best chairs. Yeah, they're, my, I mean they're comfortable. They're nice. Yeah, Doctor Kendall uh, shows out Doctor Kendall. He's like, yo, those chairs are terrible. My chiropractor hates them. Yeah, but I'm like, yo, you ain't pay for them, so. <laughs> nah, we, we are gonna change them out. We are gonna change them out. All right, so um, so two hundred fifty dollars for thirty minutes, four hundred for an hour. Mm -hmm. A lot of people pay it. Yeah. Is there any insurance that could pay for it? Or is no, just you could use like HSA, FSA, um, but you, you you gotta understand like it's it's one thing that provides you with a multitude of benefits right. in half the time or in a fraction of the time. So one stretch could replace a massage therapist, a chiropractor, a physical therapist, yoga, right? Mm -hmm. All the benefits of that, you can get that through a stretch. I got you. So, I mean, that's not a, if there's a market for this, that's not a bad amount of money. 250 for 30 minutes? Yeah. You do two of them a day. Sometimes four, sometimes five. Word? Yeah. Hold it. Okay. So are you are you are you doing them yourself or have you built like structure around it or like you you do you still do them yourself? So I still do them myself. I mean I have a I have a like a brick and mortar company and I have about nine other practitioners that I've trained who also do it. Yeah. About how many you do a week? Just um so at the height of it, right? At the height of it, I would knock out 15 people on a Saturday. On a Saturday? On a Saturday. Like when I first started, I would knock out 15 people on a Saturday. Now, I try to do about three people a day. And now, now I'm going to say this, Dave. Everybody, when I first started, uh, when I first me, started, I wasn't numbers. charging 250 Let me look at the numbers. <laughs> You know who got you know who got me to bump you know who got me who got me to to bump that uh, Neo yeah oh yeah for sure <laughs> so would you how much did you start out at so when I first started out I started out like at fifty five a session mm. yeah can I get yesterday's price can you get yesterday's price no <laughs> <laughs> I don't want today's price oh yesterday okay so you started out fifty dollars I started about fifty five sixty dollars this is uh right when the pandemic started and then uh. About every three months, I increased. You went from $55 to $250. To $250. So let's say average. How many would you do a week? A week? Uh, how many? I could probably knock. I mean, average now, I'm not so much in the business. You know what I mean? Um, I try to do like 10 a week. 10 a week? Yeah. Quick little twenty five hundred. Yeah. If the, if everybody gets the shorter service, the more the most people get an hour. Plus plus they tip. So and I try tip. to do like three thousand dollars a week. I ain't mad at that. Yeah. I ain't mad at that. That's just you practical application, just doing it. That's just that's just me. My practitioners do anywhere from twenty to thirty five, forty appointments a week. But like even at ten, what's ten? Thirty minutes. It's like five hours a week. To make six figures. Yeah. That's pretty dope. Yeah. That's pretty dope. Yeah. How did you market yourself? Because, I, I mean, if someone's considering getting in this space, I think it's cool. Yo, really? And here, okay, just hear me out. Yeah. And maybe I'm just in another space now. But when I get a massage, um, they typically do an hour for $100, let's say. Yeah. I don't know if my... Do you have any issues with your hands long term doing that? Well, I guess stretch and massage is different. So it's very it's very different. 
actually. So most massages are 60 to 90 minutes. Yeah. Most stretches are 30 to 40 minutes. I cannot be doing and that. And in massage, you use a lot of your thumbs and your palms. Yeah. Stretching, it's, it's more of a dance. So yeah. we're sort of flowing around the table, right? So a stretch therapist can, can do twice the amount of work that a massage therapist does and half the amount of time and double the amount of pay. Ah, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. And solve a lot more problems. What's up, family? I hate to interrupt your interview, but I had to just stop and say, listen, man, this is a viable business that you can get started in, okay? I really like it. I'm really considering uh, investing in this stretch concept, okay? So listen, man, there is a link below. Ben is going to be teaching you exactly how to start this. It could be a side hustle. It could be a main career. But you need some sort of opportunity to make some some supplementary income. And I think this is the thing for you, okay? Now, he teaches people to get into this career for $2,500. He said in an interview that he's going to take $1,000 off. But I asked, you know, I take things too far, um, if he can give our audience an additional $500 off. So you'll be able to get into this thriving, uh, this thriving industry, dope career, 997. Okay. So, uh, when you go to the website, they already have a thousand taken off, use promo code social proof to get an additional 500 off. Okay. I'm really, really feeling this concept. Let's get back to the interview. Got it. So how did you build your business? So one of the key pillars of my, one of the key pillars of my business is transparency. Okay. Right. And so, um, when I started, I just, I turned, as a matter of fact, I was on a morning meetup and I asked you a question mm -hmm. and I asked you to go and audit my social media page. Mm -hmm. And you're like, dude, you're not posting enough. You need to post once every single day. Yeah. And from that day on, I started posting once a day. And the word just got out there. I started off just, you know, hey, guys, what's up? My name is Ben Atanga. I'm a stretch therapist. And, um, you, know, if, you know, as time went along the way, uh, I hired a videographer. And, you know, we just, we, 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 we put it out there, right? Um, and then also I've invested in coaching and mentorship to, to learn how to actually market my business. Sure. Um, learn how to be an, an authority in the space. Yeah. And so 90%, um, probably 80% of our business comes off of Instagram. Got it. Um, and then the other probably just off of word of mouth. Mostly women, I would imagine. Predominantly women. Okay, got About it. 70%. But like, so walk me through it. Say, for instance, I want to get certified. I want to do stress therapy. Yeah. Day one. Yeah. What am I doing? I, I want you to teach me how to build a service-based business. How to build a service-based business. Yes. Okay. Any service. Any service. Okay. Give me the so foundational principles of what you did, though. Okay, so foundational principles. Number one, uh, so you already have your service, right? You know what you want to do. Yep. Number two, you got to find out who do you want to serve, mm -hmm. right? Like a lot of people be like, oh, you probably deal with a lot of athletes, right? Uh, not really, right? Like, you know, athlete schedules are kind of all over the place. Mm -hmm. So you got to find out exactly who you want to serve and find out what problem are they dealing with, right? right. And then position yourself as the only solution, for them, right? Like okay. So in my case, I knew that when I say things like store trauma and tension, right? Um, you know, people of a certain age group, let's say that 40, mid 40 to like 55 age group, mm -hmm. that's gonna resonate with them, mm -hmm. right? Um, it means something to them, store trauma. Oh, I lost somebody, oh, I was in a car accident. Oh, my boss, oh, my career, oh, my husband, whatever, yeah. right? They, they associate that with stored trauma, stored stress, stored tension. Um, and then we position ourselves as the expert, yeah. right? By just continuing to use those, those keywords and then by actually showing it. So most people, before they even get into my business, they know who I am. They know my entire staff. They know what it looks like. They know what the vibe is, right? And so it makes them just really, really comfortable with, with, with coming in. And that's another thing that like, you know, if you're trying to service based business, you have to show what you do. You have to explain what you do. You have to talk about who it's for and why are you doing it? Yeah. Right. Like people do business with the people that they know, like and trust. So over time, I've just gotten a lot of people to know me, like me and trust me. Yeah. yeah. And then you got to yeah. collect testimonials and stuff like that. And of course, having a very attractive and calming Zen space in my case sure. helps out quite a bit. You got your own space, of course. Got my own space, yeah. But you didn't start out that way. I didn't start out or that way, you? no. 
Mm-mm. No. So how 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 did you start? Just like pulling up on people, like it's coming to the house. So yeah. So so um um the first business I had got shut down during the pandemic, and after a few months of sitting around, I started doing mobile house calls. Mm. Um, and so I went on a website. I went on Thumbtack, yeah. which is like a, a gig sort of higher website. Right. And um, I went on Thumbtack and I listed myself um, as Doctor Deep Tissue. <laughs> Dr. Deep Tissue. So I listed okay. myself as Dr. Deep Tissue. Um, just because, you know, if someone was looking for some sort of deep tissue body work or anything like that, mm-hmm. like if they saw me, they'll associate like, okay, you know, that's the person that I need right there. Gotcha. And so I I got booked up, man. I was doing I was doing some, you know, some stretching, some households during the week, but on from Friday to Sunday, I'd be super booked up and I'd probably do two, three grand just from Friday to Sunday. And I just got, I got tired of running up and down the beltway and, you know, hauling my table. Um, and the demand grew. And so I, um, you know, I saved up some money and I went and got my space, my studio. Good, good. But this is a hustle. You Like, it's in demand. It's in demand. Not a lot of people know about it, which is actually great. I'd say 90% of people have never felt a stretch before. have never experienced a stretch. You've never had one, right? No. And you guys right, have never had one. Can you just do this part right here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, cool. Real nice and easy. All right, let's, all right, let me, see, let me see. Okay. Um, are we allowed to move or you want me to do it right? right, right can't do it while I'm sitting here because I, I still want, I, got, I still got uh, to talk about the audio experience. So okay. I'm, I'm, I, I, I do have like, it's like tension in my neck and I need to know. Also, I think I got bit by a spider, so I got a little, little joint right here. It's not, it's nothing crazy. Okay. Trust me. Okay. So, so let's let's actually let's get you sitting up properly first. So let's actually have, kind of have to sit back. I think I am kind of no. You think so? Well, you you I don't know. Nah, nah. no. Your, your butt's I'm like not. right here. You need, okay. you need to scoot back. All right, so I put the little pillow here to make it more. All right, that's good. Yeah, yeah. So right. the first thing I'm gonna do, Dave, I'm just gonna put my hands right on your shoulders. I just first want to just kind of okay. I can feel your tension already. Um, right, especially I, I, in this I'm shoulder tight. right Pause. here. Dang, bro. Right. Ow. Okay. All right. It's okay. It's all right. All right. This, okay. This ain't, this ain't okay. bad. This ain't bad. So that's the first thing I do is that I go through and I just kind of massage the area. I feel through for right. what I'm looking for. I feel through for that tension. So right now I'm feeling all this. Do you feel this, Dave? Uh, yeah. yeah, I do. Okay. We're going to go on this side. You feel like that's a little different? Yeah, I got okay. it. Are you, so can you hear him? Can you hear him on the audio? Can you hear him on audio? All right, go ahead. A lot of your tension is right through here. Yeah, it's, it's right. tension. It's yeah. tension. I got kids, bro. I know. I got you do mad at them. You do a lot. You do a lot. Ah. As an entrepreneur, this is mm-hmm. one of the most beneficial things that you can do because as an entrepreneur, you know that you're you actually you're creative, right? Mm-hmm. You're constantly creating, yep. right? Not just for yourself, but for your team and stuff like that. You need to have a clear mind and you need to not be restricted when you're trying to create. So, take a nice deep breath in. Let your head go. Breathe. Okay. Okay. I see the difference between stretch and... Uh, massage. Yeah, massage. Because you're like, you're. it's more like, it's stretching me instead of just like rubbing yeah. in the area. Yeah. Take a deep breath in. And let's go. <sighs> So right now we're getting like the back of that neck area right there. There you go. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Nah, you good. You good. <laughs> nah, this is, this is really good. This is really good. Take a deep breath in, just let it go, and let's go. <sighs> now, now that feels do, amazing. Yes. Yep. I normally do this on a massage table, but I can. Oh, that, that feels work. amazing. Okay, take a deep breath in, and go ahead and do that. So right now we're stretching out that chest area, the shoulders a bit. Oh, that feels great. Good. Okay. Okay. I would drop the 250 on this. I ain't going to lie to you. This is good. And, uh, oh, yeah, this side is tighter, Dave. Okay. You hear that? Yeah, 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 for sure. Something just happened. Mad kids, bro. Take a day. Really stretching. (laughs) And breathe out. The kids might need stretching. My babies? Stretch Naya. Ooh. Okay. 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 Okay
Okay, this is good. This is good. This this is a way different feeling than uh, massaging. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like this better. Yeah. So you can already see, like, if you guys look at Dave's eyes, you can, you can already see, like, the stress just kind of falling off his face. Like, it's you know different. what's crazy, bro? You got more blood flow. You got more oxygen. When you said, when we were talking earlier about the release. Yes. I actually, I actually feel a little released, bro. Yeah. Nah, I do. It's like, it feels like, um. Do you feel, do you feel sleepy? I feel, you said, uh, huh? Do you feel a little sleepy? Like, you feel like, 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 you could just like, just chill out right now. I feel, so actually I was sleepy before. But now I just, I, I almost feel like. Been energized now? Energized. Good, like good. a little more reju rejuvenated almost. Mm -hmm. No, this is, that's, and here's what's crazy. Uh, fix that for me. Um, I, what Here's what's crazy, bro. I, after a massage, I just, one, I fall asleep during the massages. For sure. Every single one of them. But after, I don't really feel any different. You know what I mean? I know. But this was a vibe, bro. Yeah. So imagine Man. 30 to 45 minutes of that all over the body. So I, I can stretch or release just about every single muscle in your body. How much, uh, how often do your clients get the stretch? So we say the sweet spot is around three times a month, like once every 10 days. Uh, we have clients that see us once a week, twice a week. Uh, every, you know, every other week. Where's your office at? So we're in the DMV. We're in, uh, we're in Riverdale Park, Maryland. You don't live in Atlanta? No. <laughs> I thought you lived I in Atlanta. I didn't mean to say it like that. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. We, 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 I mean, we, so Atlanta loves us. Um, we're, we're looking at putting a Hold franchise so in when, Atlanta. When Kay called you, you was in the DMV yesterday. I was in the DMV yesterday. I called my daughter, hit my daughter, like, you trying to go to Atlanta? She's like, yes, we just got here this morning. You just booked a flight. I honestly thought you were already here, bro. No. I would have gave you more time. <laughs> I, well, I was like, Dan, Dave ain't give me no time. Like, like he want me in Atlanta tomorrow morning at 930. LA, yeah. I'm thinking you here. No, nah, I'm in DMV. Wow, this is exciting. Yeah. Okay, all right. So, um, it, it, no lie, if I'm being honest, just the way I feel... If I were like gonna like physically do it like that, yeah, I think this is a good business, yeah, because it's it's all not new. I'm sure it's been around for a while, but you have an enemy to fight. Not an enemy, but you get to show a stark difference between you and your regular massage therapist that you just go there for an hour or whatever instantly, instantly, bro. Mm -hmm. I yo, this is wild. I did I'm two really, stretches on you. I didn't expect that. If I'm being honest with you. I didn't expect it to feel so like, I feel good. I, I want a full situation now though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The average person, do you try, are you higher than the average person? In cost? In cost. Yeah. The person who does stress therapy. Um, I think I'm the, the highest that I know of. I'm sure there's people out there that do it for a lot more, you know, but I'm the, I'm the highest that I know of. Why do you? Knowing that you're higher, why did you why do you charge more? No, why do I charge more? Mm -hmm. Why are okay? You're like, yo, I'm I'm the highest person I know. Why are you comfortable in that? Um, I mean, I'm comfortable with my skill set. Uh, I've been doing it for a while. Um, I know what I'm doing. I can speak on it. Um, and you know, I think that, um. Why am I comfortable being higher? I mean, I'm I'm also running a business, right? Like we're we're franchising. I have I have other staff members and stuff like that, um, and we also want to keep a certain level of service, you know. So you I know you've heard the best is never the cheapest, and the cheapest is never the best. That's a fact, you know. So also charging higher allows us to continue producing content, content continue putting it out there, um, and getting the awareness out there. Right now, we're still in the awareness stage. Like, so it's interesting that like, you guys have never experienced a stretch before. But same thing with me. Before I got stretched, I never experienced a stretch before. Joint feels awesome, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so talk to me about this franchise model, man. 
Got you. So, um, so first thing in the last seven years, there's been over 500 stretch therapy franchises open. Really? Yes. Who's the front runner? Who's like the leader? Um, I'd say it's a tie between Stretch Zone and Stretch Lab, right? Um, Let me look them up. Um, now with 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 our franchise, we our franchise charges the most, right? As far as like uh, as far as client costs, but also. What you get with our franchise is number one, you get a, a black owned business. You get a diverse owned business, right? Number you said two, stretch zone. Stretch zone and stretch lab. Oh, they got one here too. Number two, a lot of those other franchises focus more so on flexibility, mm-hmm. right? Uh, performance enhancement, stuff like that. We solely focus on releasing store tension, trauma, and energy from the body. Um, the franchise is going to be ready uh, come September. Um, you know, we've been around two and a half, three years and we've been able to do great things. We've been able to, to put together a team and provide a service fairly quickly, um, and successfully. And so there's been a a lot of people who've been asking to become certified, but also people looking to open up their own wellness concept. So if you're someone who's ever like was interested in opening a wellness concept or a wellness center or something like that, or you want to help people, this is the perfect franchise to get into because number one, there's no license required. So you don't need to be a chiropractor, physical therapy. You don't necessarily have to like go to school or anything for this, right? There's no degree. Um, And also you don't really necessarily need any like previous experience. This is something that I could teach you how to do. Yeah. So a lot of these franchises have really capitalized on that and opened up quickly and hired you know, some people with wellness experience, some people without wellness experience, and actually taught them the skill set to be able to provide this in a safe, effective manner. Uh, your first franchise is coming to Atlanta? Most likely. Most so, likely. Atlanta well, Atlanta loves the stretch loft. Okay. Yeah. So walk, walk me through some numbers of the stretch loft at, in uh, D.C., right? Mm-hmm. D.C., Maryland area? Yeah. What's your overhead? So, I mean, our, so we have a, when you say overhead, you're talking about including like staff, lights, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I'll put it to you this way. I started my studio with $25,000, mm-hmm. right? Um, the that studio first met, last month, rent, stuff like that. No, uh, 25, I came in with 25,000, right? Right. Uh, you can, you can start off with, with like a, depending on how many tables you want. Like you could actually start off in a studio like this. Mm-hmm. Our studio is about 1200 square feet, Right. Uh, first month, last month, you get a few tables, you get the massage guns and stuff like that. Uh, you do your decor, yep. right? You could actually start this business with anywhere from, depending on your setup. If you're a solo person, you can start with $5,000 and right. rent a private office suite where you're paying a few hundred dollars a month and actually set your business up like that. I knew that I always wanted to have a team. So I went out and got a larger 1200 square foot studio with four tables and I started to outfit it, mm. right? Um, and you know, I built, I added on as I, as I, as I went along too, but it's a, it's fairly easy to start up. Right. Um, um, it's a great option for anyone who's over, everyone ever wants to start a wellness concept, a personal trainer, a massage therapist, anybody that's in wellness, anybody who's ever maybe played like sports before, or if you just have a passion to work and help people, yeah. like I have nurses, I have, uh, occupational therapists, right. On a team, anybody who like really wants to work and help people and you're looking for something fairly simple and easy to get into where there's not a lot of competition. Yeah. Cause you don't need, you don't have to go to school to be certified. No, you just need to learn the stretches. And I guess what do you teach about the body, about the cells, how the body works? Or I, I don't go too much into the cells. I mean, I talk about how the body functions, Yeah, right? Like uh, how to, how to function with movement and the muscles and stuff like that. Uh, we do a little bit of anatomy, yeah. but you got to remember like we're focusing primarily on releasing store tension and energy. So if the person can move and coach someone to breathe, they can stretch. Hmm. So, okay. So it's, I don't know if anyone ever taught me how to stretch, but before I play basketball, I sit on the ground and I stretch and touch my toes. Yeah. And then I'll do one of these numbers with my arm across my chest and one of these. Then I'll go back here. You're pretty much just stretch. You're stretching them. Like, so it's not really... A, a methodology? Are you stretching them or are you moving them? I don't know. I thought you stretch people. The thing is, we never got taught how to stretch. Right. 
we there was never like stretch ed or stretch class. So the typical person, when they're about to do a sport or do something, they'll reach down for their toes. They yep. might swing their bodies and twist a few times, yep. bring the arm across. But the thing about it is that you're stretching in one dimension. Your body moves in a multitude of dimensions. That's a fact. You know what I mean? Like your arm can do all this. Why didn't you stretch it back here? Yeah. Why didn't you go up here and get underneath and get the rib cage? Yeah. Right? And so a lot of the stretching that's done, like, you know, before a game and recreational sports and stuff like that, it's, I think it's just something that people are used to seeing happen. It's probably what feels the most comfortable. Yeah. But to actually get prepared for activity, basketball, where you're going to be bounding, jumping, backpedaling, shuffling, right? Um, you need to make sure that you get your ankles stretched. You need to make sure that your hamstrings are nice and yeah. loose. Got to make sure your glutes, your low back don't tighten up. Your chest is open, yeah. right? Your neck is open. Does that make sense? Yeah, for sure. Like that shoulder situation you had. Bro, I want to be a part of this this franchise. I'm trying to see how much. Okay, I want to see how much stretch stretch zone they don't want a special offer. Where are we at? They got Dawsonville, Georgia. I wonder if they'll put their. You prices can probably like, uh, well, I don't know. you know how much they charge. I know their first one. I think is free. Into a free thirty minute session. Consultation, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. free thirty minute. You do that? No. She like no. Nah, I'm good on that. <laughs> <laughs> how much is it after the first one? You think? Um, with them, I, I I don't I don't know, I don't know. Let's just call them, man. Let's call Dawson. Let's call. Let's call them real quick and see how much they. Because I'm. I think it's it's probably like around uh, like seventy five to a hundred dollars. Where? Mm -hmm. So when we stretch zone in Dawsonville, located at one forty five Forest Boulevard, Suite four thirty five. All right. So when we start this franchise in Atlanta, how much are we charging? So we're so we're going through all that stuff with the franchise agreement right now, but for this is Natalie. How can I help you? Hey, Natalie, how you doing? My name is David. I'm good. How are you? I'm amazing. Thanks for asking. Uh, question: I see on your website your first stretch is free for thirty minutes. Correct? Yes, it is. So the first one is a consultation. So yeah. it's basically to get you in here to see which program would work best for you. Um, we offer 12-week programs because that's when your body fully starts to benefit from all the stretching. Oh, oh so I, it's not just one session. You need 12 weeks to really start moving. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, it is. How much is that? So it's depending on which program you pick, the prices are going to vary. Um, when you come in, you get the instant results, like the instant like, you'll feel it instantly, mm -hmm. but for your body to, like, fully affect from it, it's the 12 weeks. Uh, but we do have a couple of deals going on um, if you wanted to come in to see what those are. Okay. But I, I live in Atlanta, and I'm, I'm going to – before I get up there, okay, I just want to know, like, what the prices are. Like, what are the prices of the packages? So the sessions would be anywhere from 45 to 65 um, we do have one incoming, though. That one might be closer because we're about an hour away from Atlanta. Okay. So between, you said 45 and 65, you said? Yep, anywhere from 45 to 65. Okay, so the 12 weeks is what, like $600 or something? Um, yes, give or take, yep. Okay, okay. All right, cool. Uh, you guys are really good at it? We are. Okay. All right, cool. All right, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, have a nice night. Bye-bye. All right. First off, it's daytime. <laughs> I don't know why that's important. All right, so our our sessions, our return sessions with my practitioners yep. are anywhere from 120 to 180. Gotcha. See, the thing is, though, I want to know how we can – is it – first off, are you interested in, like, a partnership? Yeah. Okay, I have a franchise? That's why I'm here, Dave. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so our competition yeah. is 45 to 65. Yeah. Now, I know if you get you to do it, or if I if I do it, it's 500 off rip. <laughs> I'll be a certified. You want me to stretch you out? 500. Um, I, well, I don't know if my wife. <laughs> I don't know if she's going to let me get into the business to actually put my hands on nobody. But, okay, so how do we handle this if the, our competitor, and they're bigger, of course, but our competitor is $60, 45 to 
fifty dollars. What do we do, man? I mean, what does Hyundai do when a Benz is a hundred thousand dollars? Ah, you talking good. <laughs> you talk. You talking good. Touche. Right. Touche. Right. But are we a? Are we a? What? What type of? Exp- we have to give. So additional experience to be able to justify it. Yeah, and, and 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 that's what we set up, right? So number one, you want to find a space that's calming and zen, yep. right? A lot of those other spaces are white walls, it's very sterile, right? Like one of our concepts is that, you know, we're a place where you come to get better, but there's nothing wrong, right? So we believe that you're whole, perfect, and complete. Like there's nothing wrong with you, yep. right? Uh, but you're just coming to get better. So we didn't want it to feel like a uh, like a like a clinic, like a PT clinic or something like that. So I think the very first thing is that you got to first set up the environment, right? And then you also have to hire like the search off pays the top the most in the in the, in the industry, yeah. right? Like whatever any other place pays, we pay about double that, and we do that so that we get the best individuals that we can find got it. that are out there. Right. So I got people who work for me who also have their own business. Right. You know what I mean? Um, and so and that helps to keep a certain level and quality and stuff like that. Right. And it's also a luxury brand. We, we only we, we cater to a certain demographic. Yeah. You know, so not everyone is everyone's everyone could be our customer. But, you know, um, we're not necessarily for everyone's budget. Got it. Yeah. What's the other company? Stretch it, Lab. Stretch Lab. Hey, first off. Similar. Similar? Similar. Let me see. You think it's going to be like same pricing? So uh, they may be $10, 15 higher than the other one. I'm going to call Stretch Lab. Hey, the only, you know, Stretch Lab, they got three There's stars one, on um, Yelp. Buckhead. Buckhead. It's yeah, this three, one is three out of five, though. Stretch Lab, how can I help you? Hey, how's it going? My name is David. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm amazing. Thanks for asking. Uh, what, is, uh, what is your pricing for stretches? Um, so basically for your first time, um, a 25 minute stretch is $29 and a 50 minute stretch is $49 for the first time. Yes. What about after the first time? Well, we have various memberships and packages and it's easier to explain it all afterwards. So you have a better feel of kind of what you need and the flexologist will be able to recommend something. But just to give an example, our most popular membership is, um, four 50 minute stretches a month for 269. Four 50 minute stretches for how much? 269. 269. Okay, so about 270. Okay. Uh, and that's the most popular one? Yes. Okay. All right, cool, cool. All right, thanks. I, I appreciate it. No problem. Have a nice day. You too. Bye. It's about $65 for an hour. Yeah. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work for bro. $65. What does the practitioner get? They probably paying the, yeah, man. So what I've seen is that a lot of those places have high turnover because it, it, it's physical work at the same time. They got three out of five stars too, so they might not be too. On what? On Google? Yeah, on Yelp. Ooh, it's not that good. Yeah, I think our lowest is like a four point eight. Dang, well, let's go see it on Yelp real quick because I. But well, we're not on Yelp. Worst. Co- Golly, Susan went 11 days ago. It said, worst customer and professional service I've ever received from trying to schedule an appointment. It doesn't give me the whole thing. I got to like log in to Yelp or something. I hate that. Uh, two months ago, Taryn, and she looked like, she looked familiar. If I could rate this place zero stars, I would. Golly. Faith is excellent, but I had bad customer service experience from some of the other staff members. Yeah, you can't build a business that way. So you four point eight though, you four point eight on on just Google. Everything else is five point zero. So so yes. Yeah, so I guess the um, the 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 cheap because how much love and dedication are you really giving to somebody? If they charge fifty dollars, they're probably paying the actual person a dub like for an hour. You know what I mean? So my average. So our payout to our, our average payout for 60 minutes to the therapist is equivalent to what they charge. Oh, wow. Okay. I like this because we, we can make it boutique. We can make it nice. Give them, yeah. um, give them some juice. 
Or wine. Give him water. Give him wine. Like we we give him Fiji juice, bro. Give him Fiji juice? water, or we'll give him like cold pressed juice. Yeah. Um, See juice. Okay, cool. I'll, yeah. All right. all right. Nice, comfortable environment. Yeah. You got a waterfall running in the background. Nice yeah. music playing. You know what I mean? How much? Do, how much does your? How much does your loft generate? Your current one. So we do anywhere from forty to sixty thousand a month right now. Gotcha. So, and what do you bring home after that? Uh, monthly, you think? Yeah. Um, I'd say a safe is probably like thirty percent. So about thirty percent. Let's say thirty percent. Let's say let's just go. Let's with 50, thirty or fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty percent. That is fifteen thousand. Yeah. Bring home. That's a nice little cash. That's not, and that's not including you doing the stretching. So that's that's with me in there okay, doing my ten stretches uh, a week. But I mean, of and course, then, I get mine, but also right in your team. Okay, yeah, and that's no, by I choice. Like I don't necessarily have to be in there. Yeah, you know, working it and stuff like that. Hmm. All right, so let's let's take this seriously, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's say I wanted a franchise here. Yeah. How am I gonna? How do? I, okay, first off. How much do you think you franchising? Like, say somebody's watching, I want to do one in Birmingham, Alabama, or something. I don't know. How um, much, do you have a franchise fee yet? So we 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 do have a franchise fee. Of course, we've not started franchising yet. So for our first group of franchisees, they're gonna get a special cost. They're gonna get it at a, at a at a certain cost. Got it. Yes. Okay. And then but, but the friend, but 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 the 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 what what we're shooting for is in that fifty thousand dollar range. Okay. All right. But if we did it, like, I, I, I don't know if I just want to franchise. I just want to partner with you on one out here. Mm -hmm. And I can drive some traffic. You make sure yeah. the staff is there. Yeah. Where, okay. Where are you going to find these, these stretch therapists, though? So it's really easy. Um, you let me put all my secrets. Um, so what I'll do is I'll hold an open house, right? I'll host an open house. I invite people to come and I'll do a demonstration. I'll tell them what it is. Yeah. Right. And then I'll ask them if they're, you know, if they're interested in learning more and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, if they're interested, then we can take them through the certification process. Um, but we also do it by doing classes. So we have an Atlanta class coming up September 9th and 10th. And that could easily be the first group of stretch therapists to open Atlanta. I'm not mad at a little passive income, bro. Yeah. And, and, and they, pay, they, they pay to get certified. Yeah. So it'd be a good way to, you know, so that way you're not sort of wasting your time on mm -hmm. people that just come in and like steal the technique, right? It's someone who's invested. Yeah. They know they want to do it. And, you know, you could actually train them, bring them on, and maybe even give them um, reimbursement. Of what? For tuition after, you know, certain oh, after numbers. Oh, Yeah. Okay, I see, I see, yeah. I see. Yeah. Huh. I mean, who wouldn't want that? Hey, y'all want to open one up, fellas? A little stretch therapy. I th I think it's a. Cool I'm telling y'all, y'all be there every day. People come hang out at our studio. Y'all be there every day. I want to say what? Yeah, lady. <laughs> if the ladies is there, I'm there. They in there. They be in there. <laughs> they in for there. Show at the stretch laws. You don't ever take your shirt off though during your <laughs> session, no. do you? No. Hey, I know some of the. They be taking their shirt off. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Everybody keeps their clothes on. It's it's clean. Like gotcha. we don't use any oils or anything like that. Yeah. Um. Um. And we've never had any some wood somewhere. We've never had like any kind of like someone say, "Well, you know, I was tra treated inappropriate or touched yeah, inappropriate sure. or anything like yeah, that." Yeah, you, you do. You seem pretty professional. Yeah. You're yeah. not like a creep or anything like that. Yeah. And sure. and this is a great alternative for people who don't want to go take their clothes off or don't feel comfortable taking their clothes off. Yeah. yeah. Do your patrons ever come in and like start getting naked? You'd be like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. No. no. No? We clear all that before they get in. Okay, I got you. Got you. <laughs> you being a single brother, man, I can imagine. Because, I mean, you're making people feel yeah. a certain way. Yeah. Not just physically, but emotionally. Like yeah. it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sensual thing. It's a, it, you, you know what? It's, it's. There's nothing wrong with saying that it's an intimate experience. Yeah. Right. It intimacy, intimate, intimacy is not a bad thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, 
And, and to be honest with you, Dave, it, it's something that a lot of people have to tap into. It takes a certain degree of vulnerability to come in and trust someone to stretch you. You know what I mean? And so, but that's really where the process of release starts. We're here to facilitate your release. You're actually the one causing the, you're actually the one releasing when you're breathing. We just synchronize the stretching with the breathing. Gotcha. Have you yeah. ever had one of your clients like be inappropriate? No. No? Mm -mm. You never done nothing weird? Mm -mm. You've had a stalker? Mm -mm. No. No. I mean, I've had people want to, you know, take me home. No. <laughs> no. Never? <laughs> no. Not no. once? Not once. Thought about it? No. Mm -mm. They said it. I'm, maybe they might have been serious, but they were like, oh, my gosh, can I take you home? Never. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. <laughs> I mean, now, nah, now, nah, Reese, we... We probably had to fire Reese because he's going to be doing his with his shirt off. I don't. <laughs> God, it's crazy. All right. So, um, all right. So, yeah, let um, for the person that's thinking, yo, this could be a cool career. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like stretching people. It's it seems like fun, exciting. It seems more um, more interesting than massaging. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because that's what everybody does. Yeah. Um, who would be the perfect person for this? The you rush him? You rush him? Yeah, it's wrong one So the perfect person for this would be um like like someone like myself, right? I'm a former college athlete, mm -hmm. right? Um, former personal trainer, um, or someone who's like in massage, but you know, the thing about massage is that their their body breaks down after a few certain amount of years. Mm -hmm. So someone who's looking to separate themselves right and elevate themselves right um or it could just be you know someone who is looking who who is a people person yeah right they want to do something for people they want to help in some kind of way right um even you're a nurse or something like that this is a field that you can get into yeah. and you can get into it part-time you can get into it full-time i have both people that work for me good okay all right um and uh obviously you're you're pulling away from the actual, uh, you're still practicing, which I really like and respect, mm -hmm. uh, but you're now teaching other people how to do it. Yeah. So obviously you have uh, uh, something you could share. So tell, tell people about like how you offer to help people get into the industry. So um, we actually have the Stretch Off Academy, okay. right? And we host classes about, about six courses a year, right? There are two day in-person courses, okay? Um, and a lot of people think like, you can get certified in two days. Yes, you can. Uh, we also have a digital course. Okay, so when someone first goes through the certificate, uh, uh, go through our academy, they must first take our course. Mm -hmm. In that course, we go over all the stretches that we're going to learn, right? And I teach them eighteen basic stretches, yeah. so it's nothing too like hard or difficult or anything like that, right? Um, but also, I go into like the business of stretching, yeah. right? Like, how do you do a consultation? How do you figure out where someone's tight? How do you do an assessment? Yeah. How do you properly price and, and package it so that it makes sense, right? Um, um, how do you set up? What equipment do you need? Yeah. So it's called the Six Figure Stretchpreneur Program. And we call it that because it's not necessarily something that you get certified and then you go and you apply for a job. I mean, can you do that? Yes, you can go work for like a stretch zone, a stretch lab or something like that. Yeah. But also, um, a lot of people know that a lot of these you know, box franchises don't pay that well. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, the average massage therapist makes $32,000 a year, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so this is something that, that you know, you can get involved in and actually go and actually start your own business. Yeah. So I've had countless people come through my course, through my in-person course, take my online course, and have actually opened up their own stretch-only businesses, mm -hmm. uh, both regular folks and both folks were already professional. So I got one guy, Kevin. So Kevin came and took my course. Kevin works for federal government up in DC. He plays recreational basketball. He came, he took the course and now he stretches the guys in the men's league and the co-ed league, mm. right? On the weekends, right? Um, I have other people who've actually opened up their own stretch only facilities. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so uh, I have another uh, another trainer, Latoya. Latoya came. She was a trainer before. She's run boot camps and stuff like that. Now she goes around and works with little uh, little league like youth teams and stuff like that. Right. Yeah, that's cool. 
Yeah. So there's a multitude of ways that you can go into it. I have people who go into companies and they do like corporate setups, mm. right? Um, I, and, and, and me, I've done it. I've traveled the world. I've done it. I do it with a table, without a table, on a chair, yeah. um, um, really wherever. This might not have nothing to do with what you do, but I did see a, a, a video on Instagram where they're making people taller now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That don't got nothing to do with you though, right? So so people Can say they make feel people say they feel taller. The way that I don't I won't necessarily say we'll make you taller. It will but, make sense though. But but what we can do is that remember, because you're sitting and you start to kind of hunch over as we get we get older, we start to actually get shorter, right? As gravity starts to pull us down. So we do a lot of traction and opening. So you're gonna appear taller. You might gain like an extra inch from where you were. But you probably were already, let's say you're 6'3", right? And over right. the years, you're now 6'2", yeah. right? We're going to pull you apart and get you back standing tall to 6'3". Reese, now's your moment. <laughs> <laughs> now's your chance, bro. <laughs> One session, Reese. One session, One session bro. bro. We get you to six feet. Yeah, we're going to get you straight to six feet. <laughs> Oh man, this is hilarious. <laughs> 20, hey, 250, 250 a session. <laughs> Yo, but, uh, nah, man, this is really helpful, man. I think for anybody that's trying to uh, get into a hustle, and we, we, we try to provide on this platform different ways that people can figure out their thing, right? Because yeah. not everybody wants to do um, what I'm doing, not everybody wants to do marketing, not everybody wants to do you know all these different things, but mm-hmm. we try to just provide different ways for people to make money. Yeah. And I think this is cool. And honestly, bro, like I, what you did in that, you know, those four minutes, three minutes, I really do feel like looser. And yeah. I don't feel the pain anymore. Yeah. And it's, it's really in that just few minutes, it's really felt better than going to the chiropractor and a massage therapist, bro. Yeah. Just stretching. That's lit. So pe- people don't pay for time, Dave. Mm-hmm. People pay for results. Yeah. People pay for results, right? And so if I told you that I can help you, like let's say you had sciatica or something like that, if I told you I can help you eliminate it in one or two sessions, right? right? And it took you 10 minutes. You don't mind paying me the 250 or the $400, exactly. right? Sure. Like if you went somewhere else and they said, well, it's going to be 10 sessions, it's going to be 400 you might be like, I don't have the time for that. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. That's a fact. Okay. All right, so uh, one, I think this is a really, really cool conversation. Two, I, you did open my eyes to another business model that I think would be cool. Me and Donnie was thinking about opening up a restaurant, but I don't know, I don't know if I want to deal with food and stuff like that. But we are looking for different opportunities to make some money, and I think this is like cool and new enough that we can like brand it and market it, especially if people need it. So, um, yeah. La- last yeah. question. What do you see yourself accomplishing in the next five years? Because I want to be able to watch this five years from today and say, yo, Ben said he was going to do that. Mm. In the next five years, I see the stretch law of being a global brand, right? Yeah. In multiple countries around the world. And hey, remember, I watch see... this in five years. Oh, yeah. So the clock starts now. Oh, yeah. We, 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 it's clear as daylight. Yep. It's clear as daylight. Remember, we're, we're headed to Ghana to do an academy next spring. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Congrats. Um, but yeah, so we see, I see a global, it's a global franchise. There's locations in, uh, across the world. Um, we have thousands of certified practitioners practicing our methodology. Um, and, uh, you know, also, I also see stretch therapy being its own lane. Yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, it's not necessarily regulated by massage or chiropractic. Uh, and people ask, do you like, do you guys offer continuing education credits? No, stretch therapy is, I want stretch therapy to be like in its own lane. I also want this to be inside of uh, schools and universities. So we're putting together a junior stretch academy right now to teach high school kids how to do this. Um, I didn't share with you, but I went to, I played football at HBCU. Most HBCU programs do not have proper like medical or rehabilitation uh, services, right? Um, Where school you go to? I went to Bowie State. Bowie, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so most, most HBCUs don't have that. Right, whether it's because of resources or funding, whatever, I would like to actually take this and put it into different colleges and you know different HBCUs and train the kids 
on how to do this so they can actually take care of the athletes. Mm -hmm. I got a chance to go back to my alma mater and stretch them before their championship game a few years ago. And Did they win? They lost, but but this is the furthest that a D2 school has ever gone. Mm. A black D2 school has ever gone. Um, great great talent, but these players were so banged up. Yeah. Like they were they were playing at about 40 to 50% of their of their maximum wow. so if we could take this and actually put it into schools and stuff like that and actually start taking care of these athletes bodies and stuff like that um i think in the next five years like that i'll be very happy with that man i love it i yeah. love it okay all right cool cool all right so um uh how much is the course and can we get it at a discount that's my question Gotcha, gotcha. So the course is twenty five hundred dollars. Okay. Okay. Um, you guys can get a discount. Okay. Um, I could take off. Uh, let's take a thousand dollars off. Okay. Fifteen. Yeah. So it brings it down to fifteen. Okay. Um, and if you want to do like the first ten people who who take advantage of the six figure stretchpreneur course, we'll give them additional five hundred dollars off. Only ten people though. Okay. Oh, oh, all right. So. All right, so make maybe a, a promo code or something, social proof. Can we make a promo code, social proof? Yeah, social okay. proof. All right, yep. All right, go. There's a link in the bot. So the the thousand will already be taken off on the course, or they got to put in. You can't put in two codes or something. We'll figure it out, guys. You can't put in two. You can't put in two codes, but we can figure out the first ten who jump on it. Okay. Can we just make the? Can we just make it fourteen, fifteen hundred? And then use a promo code for 500 just on our particular link? We could do that. We okay. could do that, yes. All right, cool. So use code Social Proof, guys. Get involved. Get started. Come stretch somebody, all right? So, um, yeah, yo, uh, thank you so much, bro. Thank Let you. Let us know how we can find you and um, take us out with a word of wisdom. Okay. So you guys can find me on uh, on Instagram at The Stretch Loft. Uh, we also have a, a, a huge growing uh, uh, YouTube channel at This Stretch Loft as, as well. And uh, just one takeaway. Um, let's see. One takeaway. So uh, the one thing that I want to mention, Dave, is I came to this country from Africa 32 years ago. I didn't speak any English, oh, wow. right? My mom came here and she left me here. And so I didn't really understand how to speak English until so I was in the eighth grade. Wow. Right. I barely graduated high school, barely graduated college. I couldn't pass the English proficiency exam. And so when I was sitting there, senior year of college and the professor asked me, what do you want to do when you graduate? And I said, I want to be a stay at home dad. You know what I mean? And today I get the chance to do that. So my message is that, like, you know, if I can do it, you could do it, too. Yeah. Right. Like, I, not like I was like, you know, a straight A student and all that kind of stuff. No, I, I found my passion out of my pain. Right. And I just really focused on it. And really, no matter what you do, if you just focus on whatever it is that you're passionate, if you find your passion, you focus on it, you'll be just fine. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Ben, appreciate you, man. Listen, we can't close it out no better than that, man. Make sure you go follow Ben. Okay. Become a stretch therapist. Listen, if you're in Atlanta and you certify, pull up. I need a stretch, okay? Um, and oh, also, oh, 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 pull up yeah. and let's get that franchise going. Let's get that franchise. Let's get that going. franchise. Yeah, we as, as a matter you. of fact, if you're in Atlanta and and you have an interest in body work, you have an interest in making a change in people's lives and helping uplift the human spirit, you may want to get into stretch therapy because the Atlanta stretch loft is coming. Did you stretch? Did you stretch Neo? Did you? I did. A session with? Uh huh. Right, I'm I stretched Neo, Doctor Holistic, Marcus White yeah. Rosier. I'm asking them all for some money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dr. Holistic is, is, is he's crazy about this too. Oh, or? Yeah. Let me call, um, actually, I'm going to call, I think uh, Neil's out of town. I'm about to call Marcus Rosier real quick. You said oh, yeah. you, you, you stress Marcus? Yeah, yeah. I said Marcus in, in Cancun. Or? Yeah. He's into this because he got, he got, we got, we got some talk. Yo, what up, bro? You're, uh, you're live on a Social Proof podcast. <laughs> what up, Social Proof podcast? Yeah, so look, I'm here with Ben with the stretch loft, and uh, he gave me a little stretch. He said he stretched you too. Man, listen, I was in Mexico all banged up, bro. Like, my man, I had a full crook in my neck. You know how you go to those hotels and they got the little soft pillows? Yeah. My man got me right, right before I spoke on stage, being the truth. Oh, word. Yo, so look, man, he trying to bring a franchise to Atlanta. What we doing, Marcus Y. Rozier? Hey, man, 
I'm with, I'm with it because I'll be the customer and a spokesman. <laughs> <laughs> so you said, how, how much you think it costs to get it going? 20, 25? And I, to to get it to get it going, let's say fifty. Fifty? Yeah. We're gonna need fifty, Marcus. Here's the thing. All we yo, we listen, all we gotta do is ask Neo for forty. We both come with five. Neo real rich. Fifty fifty easy though. That's light. That's light. No, I, yo, but I I think it'll be good, man. We just need like a little studio and we all just promote it and it, you know? We just got to find the people who are going to be like the it'll stress be, therapist. It'll be the most popping place in town. That's a fact. Are you going to, you'll come down to Atlanta yeah, and move yeah. for a few months to get it going? Absolutely. Marcus, you got to add the massages though, man. You got you to have a stretch and a massage. So we, so, we, so we do that. We offer stretch and massage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, see, I, I just went, I just went to the Cairo and the massage Monday. I got another one set up for tomorrow, but I need a good stretch. Need a good stretch. Well, Ben in town right now. I don't know if you... You know what I mean? Yeah, he had the studio right now, but no, nah, I think it's a good idea, man. We gonna we gonna talk about it, man. We 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 need to have a conversation. I think better over steak. So hey, say, say no more, man. And you got I gotta send you the list and let you know, man, so we can get people at the uh, the podcast summit too, man. Oh, say no. No doubt. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, back. I'm I'm hit you after I get out of here. Okay, bro. All right, bro. All right, man. I might be running around the podcast summit doing some stretching too, man. Oh, say less. Where, wherever I go, Dave, it say happens. Less. It goes down. Hey, listen, man. <laughs> get your table, my boy. <laughs> I need to get right. So, gotcha. Nah, but uh, yeah, thanks for coming, man. We appreciate you. Uh, listen, stay tuned for 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 Stretch Loft Atlanta. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to partner with the Loft Atlanta with uh, Jason. Oh yeah. So we so we gonna have to partner. Oh, yeah. Make it dope. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for coming. This is very very helpful. Hopefully, people find their own career in stretch therapy. I think it's a really really good idea. Um, but also, y'all go get you some social proof. Meaning, go build something really 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 big. But then come back to your community and teach them how you did it. It's the only way our community grows. All right? I'm out of here. Peace. Peace. If you like the video that you just watched, click this one. You're going to like this one, maybe even more. Click it right now.